Hi, I'm uh, to be here with you is really an honor of mine. I'm Chin from Thailand and I photograph marine conservation stories. Since I was a kid, I have always been in love with the oceans and all the living things in the water, especially sharks. During kindergarten, I once convinced my parents to buy me a dead baby shark from the fish market, which I kept in a freezer at home to look at it every day. <laughs> I sometimes took the shark to class to show the awesome creature to my friend, and we all love it, except for the smell. Until one day when my mom thought it was too stinky and threw it away, and it was very traumatizing for me. <laughs> Two decades later, I still keep dead sharks, but I keep hundreds of them in tubs of preservative. And my mom can't touch them or throw them away this time. <laughs> I would prefer to study living sharks, but it was nearly impossible for me to do it back then, since shark populations in Thai water have been mostly depleted by overfishing. I want people back home to know and care about this issue. But as a young biologist back then, I barely have any audience. Until the local edition of the Geographic gave me an opportunity to shoot it as a story, which got the attention from the mainstream media in Thailand and reached out to the public. Since then, I, I realized that hmm, maybe I might be able to do more impact with photography. So I gradually shift my career toward conservation photography, telling the sea to tell the stories of terrible things that are happening out there, and also the stories that I think find quite hopeful, that I wish that it may inspire love and encourage action from us. Through the grant for the National Geographic Society, I am now documenting marine conservation issues in the Miep Archipelago, which is a group of over 800 islands off the coast of southern Myanmar. The archipelago had long been closed off from the world for many decades, even to scientists, so there are many unknown and a lot to explore such as these newly discovered sharks and rays that I found in fish market. Also, this water is a key diversity area of the Andaman Sea, being on a tentative list of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. But as Myanmar opens up to the world, the Myanmar archipelago as one of the most pristine places in the Andaman Sea. It's also experiencing rapid exploitation of its marine resource at an, at an unsustainable rate to feed the developing economy. And also to satisfy the lucrative international wildlife trade, such as the gill rakers of these endangered devil rays. The growing interest in these newly open territory is also leading to development, with a plan for a gigantic mega project aimed to be the largest industrial zone in Southeast Asia. And the expanding tourism industry is attracting more and more visitors and foreign investors to the coastal zone of this nation. For now, the Mia Archipelago is still in pretty good shape comparing to neighboring waters, making it the stronghold for the potential recovery of the Andaman Sea in the future. However, with our proper management strategy and positive action, who knows how long before the biodiversity and the livelihood of the coastal community here will be adversely affected. With this project, I intend to shine a light onto this little known archipelago for the policy maker, the local community in Myanmar, and for all of you to see and care about this place. This is still a uh, work in progress, but I hope that this story could be a part to help driving the conservation and the management effort of the Mia Archipelago in the future. Thank you.